Now for Xbox, uh, Game Pass is a little different because they're not exactly EXEs and they're not exactly where you normally can see it. Um, normal user can't go in there and see the files. So the best way I found instead of any other workarounds, workarounds, the best workaround I found is to actually open up the Xbox app and then you're going to want to go to whatever game like Metro, right click on it and it create a desktop shortcut. That's going to allow you to now bring in that game. Incredibly simple. Just add. You're going to want to go to desktop and you're going to see Metro and there you go. The only problem now that you have is that it looks like a bag of smashed ass. It looks like deep silver Metro and need for speed all together. Um, to fix that, all you have to do now is just click on like need for speed edit and then you can just go ahead and put spaces in between there to make it a little bit, you know, a little bit more polished. And now add box art, which I already put them on the desktop so I could easily find it. Much better looking now. And then if we go to this one, we can change that to make that look a lot better. Metro 2023 Redux. I don't need the version number, so let's delete that. And let's add the kick-ass box art. There we go. Now when I refresh this over here, you're going to see those games are there. Metro and Need for Speed. So that's all you need to do to add more games. Um, you can also add applications if you wanted to. Uh, it's up to you.